Hey guys, we're here with the WCS Australia title holders for 2013, Kay and Ali. How are you guys going? Good, thank you. Yeah, pretty good. So we're at Kay and Ali's house right now and it is awesome because these guys are amazing cosplayers. Um, so I guess that we should start at the beginning. How did you guys get into cosplay? Um, well, I started cosplaying in 2000 because a friend had asked me, oh, we like anime. Why don't we dress up in costume like my other friends in Singapore? I'm like, okay. And uh, that's how I did it because I used to do a lot of pantomime. Um, and then when I got into anime and she suggested it, it was just a perfect marriage of things that I had passion for. I had a laser tag party for my 19th birthday and I really wanted to go. I was like, wouldn't it be amazing if everybody dressed as video game characters? Because I was really in love with Final Fantasy. So I made like a Lulu, like I hand sewed it and it was terrible, but I had so much fun. And then my friend said, you know, they do this at conventions, right? And I went, conventions? What's that? And yeah, so he brought me along to um, a convention in Perth back in the day. And um, oh, it was so much fun and I was just mind blown. So I had to continue cosplaying after that. So tell us a bit about competing because, you know, we see a lot of cosplay on the show. We do come across quite a lot, but we never really go into the sort of competitive aspect or, well, competitive is a strong word to use, but, you know, competitions and things like that. So, you know, tell me about how you guys got into WCS and how that started for you. Um, well, it all came up when the first WCS uh, was announced for Australia um, when they brought in the prelims and we thought, hey, this is a great opportunity to challenge ourselves and... So we paired up and found a series that we both loved. Um, the difference with doing a costume for a photo shoot as opposed to a competition is you have to prepare a skit and um, that's basically doing a play for three minutes or so where you need to do voice acting, you need to get music and do sound editing. Um, and that's a whole nother aspect to cosplay, which, you know, if you're doing photo shoots, you don't have to do that. Um, and that was a challenge to learn at the beginning. I think for I think. us, because, um, you know, we've always been involved with, you know, the performing arts, like in our careers or, you know, in our interests. Mm. And uh, we thought, I think what drew us to the uh, competition aspect was the whole idea of a skit. Mm. And we love skits and we love performing and um, we love being able to tell a story or do something really cool that we saw on Eurovision, you know, like a cool <laughs> costume change. And we like bringing those that's our, that's I think our, one of our, yeah, the, the heart of our cosplay love. We love the performance, performance and, and bringing it to yeah. life. Awesome. And with WCS, so just for the viewers at home um, who might not actually be aware of what WCS is, how does that actually work? Like what is WCS? Well, WCS is the World Cosplay Summit and it's basically an international competition that was started in Japan 15 or so years ago, or oh, 10 years ago. Um, and it basically brings together champions of each different country who's participating to meet at the finals in Japan. Um, so each country has a round of prelims and we do in Australia as well. Um, so once you win those prelims, you are then sent to Japan to compete against these other countries. So this prop was actually made out of a base of MDF, a solid piece, which was then carved down. Um, I used a Dremel to do all the finer, thinner areas to um, get that gradation between the bat wings. Um, and that's pretty much the same method for the handle as well. Now the diamonds in the middle, they were done by resin cast, um, creating a mold, um, getting it all correct mathematically and then um, pouring it in with a bit of blue dye. That's how we got the, the coloration of it there. Then it's also got um, bolts and chains for the center part, which the central chain is held in by a nail at one end and a curtain hook at the other one so we can actually twist it in to tighten it. And that way it can stay taut like um, the reference in the game. So are there, are there any specific conventions that you feel sort of stand out for cosplay? like? Um, I think they're all amazing in different ways. Mm. Like I'm a pers personally, I'm a big fan of uh, Supernova because it's mm. got um, pop culture, which yes. and um, so it combines all elements. And I love cosplaying, you know, stuff from comics and movies and books just as much as I love cosplaying from anime and manga. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I feel that convention really has the outlet for everyone, and you get to meet people of different you know genre cosplayers as well. And I feel like we all learn. Like I've learned so much from people 
who only do comics, for example, and their techniques, or people who only do movie realism, and it's like learning from them, and you take that to cosplay whatever you're doing. Like, we all have something to learn from each other, so. Yeah. Yeah. What have been probably your favorite and most memorable cosplays to wear? Mm. I guess yeah. for us, because something like WCS was something we've yeah. been working to for quite a while, wearing those costumes and having the experiences that we had. Standing we on the stage. On the stage. It was yeah. like kind of just like, we've done it. Here you we know? are. Like, yeah. And you know, the whole world's here literally, like online and everyone who was watching or being involved in it, we all have that same passion and it just was like, yes, this is, this is cosplay. Yeah. So. Thanks so much for uh, letting us into your home <laughs> and uh, letting us look around and things and especially letting us take a look at some of your costumes. The detailing is absolutely amazing. Uh, where can we find you guys online? Uh, yep, if anyone wants to find out more about our cosplays or ask us any questions, you can go on Facebook to Mushroom Prints. Uh, that's strange our Strange name, page. but yeah, we're yep. strange people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And that was Liz's Cosplay Talk Back. Unfortunately, that's the end of the show for today. Check us out on Facebook and we'll see you again next week. ...G crew and also see... Uh... <laughs> it's like no one takes him seriously. <laughs> I think it's the crowd. <laughs> Just a hunch. I might be wrong. <laughs> I am the wet white king. <laughs> that looks like a cat. Poetry with Vincent Liz. Rose is a brown, violet's a brown, who keeps in my garden. <laughs> and I've actually taken your job today, Vince. I'm reviewing Need for Speed. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>